hey you guys welcome back to my channel today we are working with a hair brand that sponsored their kinky bulk human hair right here and they actually sent me two bundles in each bundle it has about seven other bundles and yeah so you guys um i'm just stretching it out here and i have decided to do mini twists with this hair i could do mini twists with my own hair but for some reason my hair just it always shrinks up when I do the mini twists and things. So this was perfect for this hairstyle. I've also seen people on their page. They was doing like dreadlocks with it and everything. But let's get into the tutorial. So you guys, what I'm doing with these twists first, I am just going to start off braiding it. And then I am going to start adding in my hair. Just like I would do if I was doing knotless braids. I'm going to braid down a little bit with the hair, and then I want to just start twisting, as you can see. As you guys may know, like, as I'm twisting down, I am also twisting the legs of this hair, if that made sense. That way, I can have a very tight twist, and it won't be unraveling and things like that. Y'all, excuse my ugly facial expressions, honey. I was just... I didn't know how this test I was going to turn out. I was a little nervous, but in the end, y'all, it turned out so pretty and perfect. And the hair that I am adding in is really not even thick pieces. It's like very small and thin pieces simply because I did want to keep them small and I didn't want them bulky and things like that. And also, don't be alarmed by the shrinkage of this hair because it does stretch. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, towards the end of the twist, I made sure I gave the hair a little twirl with my finger. So, it can create that little coil. Mm-hmm. Real cute. And, y'all, as y'all can see, my second row is a lot smaller, you guys. Because I realized I want full hair so let me do smaller parts so don't be alarmed and my parts aren't perfect but I promise you in the end you won't not be able to tell period all right you guys and this hair is from Etsy hair and you guys can look in the description box below for more information on it and i will also put a link on there so yeah check them out you guys so the product that I'm using to smooth my hair down as I'm twisting and also for my parts I'm using a product by Cantu my sister picked this up from the local beauty supply store but I see it's for all braids and twists and things like that like it's a braiding and twisting gel and honestly I like it y'all all right you guys so here's the part where I just shut up and let you guys watch the video um everything is pretty much self-explanatory just braid down and then twist and if i feel the need to add something else in the video then i will
All right, you guys, so now that the back is done, I'm just going to start on my two little balls in the front. What I'm doing here is this first row is going to consist of two, and then the next row is going to consist of three. And then from there, I kind of just eyeballed it and did however many. I mean, you could do two, three, four, five, six, seven, but I didn't want to do that. So <laughs> I just eyeballed it. But, um, yeah and I also want to say that in each of these two parts of my hair at the top it is um, seven rows a piece So as you can see, I am starting on my second bundle of hair, you guys, and I had probably about five bundles left. So yeah, you guys, it don't take much if you want them small like this. And yeah. So you guys, y'all already know how I like to do this. I like to line my parts up in the middle parts like that. So once I was done, I realized that the middle part, like the braids in the middle part, it was a little loose at the top. So what I did was I put a little product on the root of it and then I twisted it like I was doing some locks or something. Don't worry, you guys. It's going to come loose, okay? So I just did that. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything can look tighter. And yeah, you guys, this hairstyle reminds me of them sister locks which I am kind of obsessed with. Well, I'm not obsessed with them, but they are so beautiful. But right here, you guys, I'm just putting water on the ends and leave-in conditioner. You guys, this is human hair. So, of course, you put water on it, it's going to bounce right back. And, you guys, this really looks like my real hair. Like, I can take some of this hair and do, like, a crochet style. I think I will try to do that, y'all. Like, a little crochet style with the Afro puff. I probably will because it's definitely going to match my hair. Right here, I'm just taking my air, what is it called? Oil sheen. I sprayed the roots of my hair and the hair itself. And you guys, here I am with the side part. Y'all know this is my signature. I love my little side parts, period. As you guys can see, the back is very full. And like I said in the beginning, it ain't gonna matter how them parts is because you ain't gonna be able to see it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here I am with my middle part. It was cute, but it wasn't giving how I wanted it to give. So, yeah. Back to the other styles. We have a half up, half down style with the two ponytails. I like this hairstyle. I thought it was cute. Adorable. It's giving fun. Alright you guys, so next style I have the pineapple, you know, <laughs> people with locks always love the pineapple hairstyle, and I love it too, but you guys, I had purple barrette, so of course it didn't match, but you guys, that is the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, thank you, bye!